So today we're going to discuss a couple more types of nuclear reactions, specifically fission and fusion. So here's a, here's a, a graphic uh, design of uh, what fission is. Fission is when you have a large nucleus breaks down into two smaller nuclei. Okay. These here, these green things, those are representing neutrons. You also release considerable amounts of energy. Fusion is when you take two smaller nuclei right here and you put them together forming a bigger nucleus. So you might be familiar with the roots of these words. Fission or a fissure is a break or a rift, it breaks apart. Whereas fusion is to fuse something together, to put it together. Like if you have a, a fused vertebrae, that's, well, that's a bad thing. That means when your two of your vertebrae are fused together. Um, a fissure is like a, a type of cut almost. It's a break in, in the skin. So that's uh, also a part of that word. All right. Um, and if you guys took our systems, you might recognize the, these terms as well. Here's a couple examples of, uh, here's a fission reaction and a fusion reaction along with the definitions. So fission is a type of decay, which a larger nuclei breaks into multiple nuclei. They're called daughter nuclei. So here's an example of uranium-235. Uh, this nucleus, uh, and this is started by a neutron hitting it, uh, makes barium-144 and krypton-89, plus three neutrons. This here, one zero, a massive one, zero atomic number, and that's a neutron. Uh, here's an example of a fusion reaction where you have smaller nuclei uh, joining together to form a larger one, where you have two deuteriums forming a helium-3 plus a neutron. So you have two small nuclei come together to form a bigger one. Okay, so let's go over a couple of uh, style of uh, problems to, to show you guys how to do these. I'm gonna uh, write this on, on the iPad. So. There we go. So this first one right here, we have uh, Californium 252. Ninety-eight, and you're forming uh, one hundred forty, fifty-four, xenon xe plus blank plus four neutrons. So the idea is you guys are going to have to figure out what is going to uh, make the atomic numbers add up on either side of the arrow. The arrow is kind of like the equal sign here. I like to draw a line over it just to make sure you have a, bit, a barrier right there to tell what it is. And then you're going to use the atomic number that you calculate to figure out the symbol. So this is the way I kind of do it. I kind of uh, set up an equation. So. The equation up at the top, you know, your total mass on the left side is 252. So your mass on the right side also has to add up to 252. So you have this. So you have 252 is equal to 140 plus blank plus four. These four neutrons have a total mass of four. So there's four of them. So that's why. So your total mass on the left is 252. Your total mass on the right is 144. So just figure out what's missing. You can set up an algebraic equation or you can solve it however you like. Uh, but uh, when you ca calculate the value that's missing right here, it is going to be uh, one, what is it? 108. 
So, uh, and then check your check your work, guys. One forty plus uh, one hundred eight plus four is that uh, two fifty two? Yep, that is. Uh, we're going to do something similar on the with the atomic numbers to figure out what's missing. We have ninety eight is equal to fifty four plus what? What number? And that would be. And uh, this is nice because you got your zeros and the neutrons for atomic number there. So and that's going to be forty four. And you go, guys, take a look up at your periodic tables. Atomic number 44 is ruthenium. Are you having a good day? Good. Oh, sorry. Had to do it. So um, in this next one down here, let me go over that. The second one, the fusion reaction example. We have deuterium which is an isotope of hydrogen with a mass of two, plus tritium, another hydrogen isotope, with a mass of three. And then you're creating blank plus one neutron. So, Trying to figure out what's the uh, um, missing, you know, similar style. Um, what I like to do, another style I have is, you know, tab everything on both sides. I'm going to draw that arrow separating the uh, reactants from the products. And we have a total of two here, and we have a total of zero here. So it should be pretty easy to figure out that there's a two on the bottom that goes there because I have to have a total of two, and that's all we have there. On the top here, you got a total of five and here we have one so what's missing we have to have four i can look up at my periodic table atomic number two you might even remember this helium h e so we're making helium plus one uh, neutron now this is an important reaction this is actually the reaction that uh, essentially fuels the sun you know you're uh, fusing hydrogen together to make helium releasing tremendous amounts of energy. So this is the reason why you are alive. Pretty important, huh? All right, guys. So I'm going to stop uh, recording this.